Hi, I'm Robin from Robin's Re3. I'm going to be using these on an upcoming live. These are some poinsettias that have beautiful rusty bells inside. But when I chose this item, what I decided to do, because this is the ribbon I'm going to be using for the project. It has, this is Sam's Cub ribbon. It has the poinsettias on it. It has the gold in here that says happy holidays. Um, I also decided I wanted to use this. Now, because I'm going to be using some gold picks in the project and there's gold in this uh, ribbon, I wasn't finding that in anything I was looking for. So, it just looked kind of flat against some of the items I'm going to be using. So, I came up with, I'm going to decorate these using scribble paint. We've all used this. You all know how to use it. Now, because these are layered, what I did was I actually worked on the bottom layer first and let it dry. Okay. Then I went to the next layer, but I'm just going to use this scribble paint, scribble paint to outline some of the stripes on here just to give it a small pop. So when it's paired with these and in the, um, it's going to be a teardrop swag. That way, everything's going to kind of mesh. So what I'm telling you is, if you can't find something that you're looking for, embellish what you got. Make it match. All right? So, let's go ahead and do one. I thought maybe I'd be able to stick it in here to hold it in place. Yes. All right. I need a steady hand to do this. <laughs> this is so simple to do and it's going to make everything blend so nicely. So my ribbon has gold on the sides and across here on the stripes. So I am just going to, let me see if I can bring this in for you so you can see it a little bit better. There. Okay. I'm just going to draw a line along here like this. And it dries pretty good. I went a little off there, so I'm going to scrape some of that off and redo it. There we go. So all I'm telling you is you can embellish what you have to make it match and coordinate. You don't have to go searching far and wide for something that you may not find. I just loved the buffalo plaid, and that's what I wanted in my teardrop. Now what I'm doing is I'm just doing some simple lines along here. Then when this dries, I will flip this back down and I will do some simple lines on the other ones. Then after I've let this dry, and what I do is I paint it and I let it dry for like 24 hours. Then I'm going to go back and go crossway. All right. So basically you're just embellishing what you have. If you keep a steady grip on this and drag it through as you're going, if you didn't have scribble paint, you could surely use glue and then just dust it with some uh, glitter. But I just want a little pop of gold on these so everything looks right and coordinates that out of the way. There. Okay. So I will have three of these in my teardrop. So with the magic of recording, I will just show you what my product looked like after I embellished. See, I went down like that and then I did one across. 
it's just going to make everything match. Okay. So I will have some of these left over. I will be placing some of these in my Etsy shop. I will also be placing some of these in my Etsy shop. This has like a glitter effect to it and it has some red bells in there. So this one has the rusty bells and this one has the red bells, okay? All right, this was just a short video to show you how you can embellish and add to what you already have. Um, I will be doing more of these short videos and sharing them with you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can find these. Just little short tidbits of things that I found that I can do to spruce up what I'm making. All right, thanks for joining me and have a great day.